Hello YouTube model community. Bill here at Horton's Hot Rod Shop. With my final on my Fat Fenders Fins and Chrome build hosted by Rob over at Time Machine Scale Models. Okay, what I've got here, I've widened the front fenders on this truck. Out to match up with the ramp on the back, mainly. Uh, the wheels on it are off the, the street version of the Chevy one-ton truck by AMT. The ramp is off of, it used to be a racer's wedge. I modified the rear wheel to be a single axle. And actually it's going to run into the board. Went with a black and yellow paint scheme. A lot of pinstripe. Um, Got to move it forward a little bit here. There we go. Okay, the interior was done in brown, dash is yellow, it's got pinstripe on the dash. Ran it two cab lights instead of five, because a lot of the older trucks only had two on the corners or three in the middle. Pinstripe the hood, fenders, it's got the running lights up, or running lights up on the top of the fender. Made a front bumper out of two to match up with the width of the truck now. Okay. Come on, focus on it. Big block Chevy come out of an old Pro Nova kit. Get a hold of it and see if I can't get a picture of the bottom of it here. There he is. Kind of basic set of headers. Camera focus and stay focused. Focus. Having trouble getting it to focus on this long truck. There go, I gotta focus now. It's finally done. Alright guys, I'm going to take this off, well, before I pull this off here, let me get the inspiration for the yellow and black paint. This is why I got done yellow and black. Appear to be a nice 
ramp truck for the little yellow, little yellow fever there. Fiat. Which come out pretty good on its own, but it wasn't part of any build. Kind of hard to get it to focus on it. Too much going on in the picture or something. That was a fun little build. I can get camera focus in good enough to. It's wired. Got a steel brake line ran. That's an Atlantis kit. That's a really nice little kit. The only thing I had to do to really make it fit right was get the body to fit down over the blower and the motor. Oh no, I can't get it back on right. <clears throat> there we go. That's a little better. No, not no more. Too much chrome. There we go. Got her back down on there again. And that was why I went yellow and black. Sorry about the delays there. I'm trying to get that thing back together. That's going to be the car that's going to sit on it most of the time. On the shelf. camera with it. That's the inspiration for that. Now I gotta set them two off to the side. I don't have a camera mount yet guys. I'll get one. <laughs> I won't be so shaky. We're gonna set this one off to the side and show you this truck's little brother. Got a little more green to it than this. For some reason, this camera keeps adjusting the color on it. This is that truck's little brother. I did this one before the fat fenders and fin chrome thing started. Started out with a truck I already had built that I didn't like. Didn't like the color on it, so it went in the dunk tank. It's got a small block with dual carbs on it. That is out of a old Nova SS 66 SS kit. It's got dually wheels. The frame on this one's really been stretched out to get the wheelbase back where I wanted it. The bed is completely scratch built. This one's a little more plain Jane than the other one. Now underneath this one's a little bit different color wise. A little bit different frame rails. It's got a different rear end under it. And this one had to make a carrier bearing for it different a little bit different exhaust on this one 
This one was a fun little build too. Really made me want to finish the other 50 as a wider fendered one. This one's more the straight up standard cab. Truck, 50 truck. Decals come out of the old AMT Dodge L700, I think, with the trailer and the 40 Ford to go with it. So, right, guys, I hope you liked the video. Rob, I hope you liked the truck. Guys out there, have a good day.